back here in Barcelona. Uh, we are at be.net slash live. Welcome to Adobe Live. If you've never watched before, come over to Behance, best place to watch. This is Angela Bardakjian. Yeah, you I did got it right. Right. I did right. I was like, whoo, that's the thing I'm most nervous about for this stream. Uh, Angela, this is your second time kind of streaming with us? Yeah, last time we did like a portfolio review with mm -hmm. two different designs and one of them was Paula Scheer. I was kind of nervous yes. to show her my work and get her review. Mm -hmm. And this time I'm going to be talking more about my work, what I do, and my background. Mm -hmm. Right. So, but yeah. we will we'll be doing portfolio reviews. We'll be uh, reviewing two of your portfolios in about yeah. 30 minutes. Cool. So stick around for that. But yeah, Angela, go ahead and introduce yourself in case people don't know you. So first of all, I want to thank Adobe and especially oh. Michael for inviting me here Michael to talk yeah. <laughs> uh, during hiding. the live stream. Thanks, and Michael. thank you for all the viewers, all the people who are joining us from the mm -hmm. chat. Hey, and thank you for tuning in. Yeah, Nathan, I'm so excited Kevin. to see your work, yeah. to read your comments, and let's be in touch. Yeah, let's be friends. Let's be friends. Let's be cool. nice. <laughs> yeah, it seems like we have some new people in chat I've never cool. seen before. Elena, Jeremy. Super cool. Hi, everyone. If you are new to chat, say hello. Let us know where you're from. Like I said, we're in Barcelona right now, but cool. we're usually in San Francisco. So make sure you keep checking out Adobe Live if you uh, are new. Yeah. Awesome. So it's clear so that cool. you uh, make some really cool work. We have your Behance page open at the moment. Yeah, so let me introduce myself yeah. a bit. Mm -hmm. I'm Angela Bardakjian, just like she pronounced it. Perfectly. <laughs> Perfectly. <laughs> I'm Armenian. I live in Beirut, but I travel a lot. So I come to Barcelona a lot for work. Mm -hmm. And um, my design story is kind of cliche like other people. Like, if you want to ask me, like, how I started, mm -hmm. it's like, as cliche as it sounds like yeah I used to draw as a kid yeah, and stuff. Same but, yeah. story. <laughs> but my mom is a painter so I was really influenced by her because I saw her like creating something out of nothing as yeah, a kid. Yeah. Like I want to do that kind of stuff when mm -hmm. I grow up. And then I actually started uh, drawing characters. Uh, characters and my friends were like oh can you draw me in please blah blah. Right. And yeah I knew like I want to be a designer when I grow up. Mm -hmm. And then I took that into storyboarding but I didn't know anything story storyboarding back then yeah. so what I used to do is like instead of drawing one character or two I used to put them in the frame <laughs> like yeah they're gonna be going to picnic they're going to oh, blah 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 and make story. like <laughs> small like uh, storybooks yeah out of them. cute I love that so yeah uh, when I grow up I became a designer. I made it. Yay. <laughs> but um, I went to art school mm -hmm. and after a graduation I started working in a um, publication magazines as a designer and then became an art director but guess what I had to quit that job <laughs> had to quit had I to had go. to quit that job <laughs> to move to Barcelona ah because uh, back in 2011 I think was it I came to Barcelona for a festival mm. and I was amazed by everyone's work yeah. and I was like this is amazing and mind blowing. I want to go come back. And a year later, I came back to see more designers, to meet new people. Mm -hmm. And and I was like, okay, one day I want to be on that stage, talking about my work mm -hmm. and hopefully influencing people, like showing them what they can do out of like working hard, mm -hmm. be passionate about your work and dream big. Yeah. And yeah, guess what? I was on that stage. I was on this stage too, the mini stage. <laughs> yeah. In 2014, we, I got accepted to be part of um, a family who works for uh, a festival. Mm -hmm. So we worked on the graphic campaign, teasers, bumpers, all mm -hmm. of them. And today I want to start with the uh, yeah, graphic project. campaign that cool. we did for. Um, it's down here, right? Yeah. This guy. It's here. I don't know if you guys are familiar with it or remember it from like four years ago. It sounds super long time I ago. Know. For me. That's wild. <laughs> Yeah, we are getting safe. old, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Slowly but surely. <laughs> Happens so, to the best of us. Yeah. So the graphic campaign was based on the, actually what happens to all of us as designers. Whenever we come to off or any other conferences, we get like blown away and get loaded with information. Mm -hmm. 
So that's what we are trying to show here yeah. with the visuals and kind of like with the sex cell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> uh, the old thing. cliche. Yeah, cliche thing. Mm -hmm. So it actually sold out, so we did it. Yeah, <laughs> it sold. <laughs> it sold. Cool. So yeah, we, we shot models like um, overreacting with stuff. Like mm -hmm. she's eating the bowl full of fruits. She's kissing her boyfriend and with all the lipsticks on her face and his stuff. Mm -hmm. And that's me doing <laughs> it. May or may not be her. Oops. <laughs> um, Hi, people mom. kissing with ice cream. Oops, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, chocolate syrup, noodles, like we're trying to show how they are like not having enough, not getting enough mm -hmm. of everything. Insatiable. Exactly. Yeah. Honey with all her hair, she had to wash it so bad mm -hmm. <laughs> afterwards. Is your name in there? I'm sure it is. Yep, yeah, it's, it's here. Mm -hmm. So, graphic design. So yeah, actually we pitched a couple of um, ideas for it and um, it was kind of my idea. Oh, cool. <laughs> it won. Mm -hmm. So we did it. And thank you for all the people who worked with us for the campaign. Yeah. I don't know if so one of the guys from the chat are f is familiar with it or not. Oh, yeah. That's chat, me let us know. And chat and, um, cool. On stage. Uh, the posters that we did were like in the space. Right, I bet it was really cool to see your work just yeah, there physically. Yeah, they were everywhere. Mm -hmm. Cool. I also want to talk with you guys about Flowetry. Ooh. Yeah, and let us know if you have any questions. Yeah. For Angela, we're here for about an hour, so it's a great time to ask questions about getting started as a freelancer and how to follow your dreams because clearly You've followed your dreams. Yeah, with working hard, sleepless nights, even if you have a job or anything, just like focus on whatever you want to do in the future mm -hmm. and focus on it with no complaints or anything because if you work hard, you're going to get there. Right. Dream, work hard, and... <laughs> It'll happen for you. It will happen for you. Cool. So here's a project I did for Notography. It's a mobile app. Oh, okay. Where they collaborate with a lot of artists and lettering typography mm -hmm. designers. Um, so I did this type project for them out of actual ribbons. Oh, that's real? Yeah. Whoa. I'll be, I think I have a picture underneath there. Wait. Okay, yeah. I'll use little pins, I see. <laughs> yeah, so basically, um, it's a platform where you can share your thoughts, quotes, uh, information that you want to share with people mm -hmm. on social media. So instead of like writing it in notes or like taking screenshots from it, you mm -hmm. just you can just uh, use this app, use choose it. your favorite designer, choose my work. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, share it with people. Wow. So since we're like doing something emotional here, I wanted to use real material. Mm -hmm. And so I used ribbons. Uh, basically what I did, like I drew the structure that I want, print them. And as you can see in this picture, um, I made it out of ribbons from the structure. Yeah, right. So, so how did you make the... Um Thing that you printed out did you hand draw it or did you make it an illustrator illustrator gotcha <laughs> yeah Super and handy. it had to be geometric since the ribbon is like kind of thick mm -hmm. and it doesn't fall like yeah great. Great. so yeah um this is beautiful i wonder how many times it took you to get these perfect yeah 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 and we had to work with bright colors since it's for an app mm -hmm. so that's that was something that i didn't know back then so we had to like work on the colors a lot as on photoshop and oh. to, yeah. So basically, we took a picture, we did the retouch on Photoshop, changed mm -hmm. the color on Photoshop, and yeah, this is how you can see it in the app. So that's how you got it to be different colors, but you just took one picture of yeah, one. Yeah, just one picture. Cool. And the wow. others all done on Photoshop. This is really interesting. I've never heard of this uh, note graphy app, but that sounds so inspirational. Yeah, it's based in Barcelona. <laughs> Perfect. There we are. And we have our first question that I'm seeing from Nathan. Uh, was it completely terrifying to make the leap to freelance from full time? Yeah, it took me a lot of time to do that. Right, you did it wisely, like you didn't yeah. just leave. No, because you have to like draw path or like put a strategy for yourself mm -hmm. to know where you're going. You just can't do it like blindly. Yeah. Um, 
just reach to people, like uh, have a good PR, personal relations with people, and you're going to get there and do it working hard, doing personal projects. Uh, trust me, you will not have to search for a job. The clients will find you mm -hmm. from social media now that we have Instagram, Behance, and everything. So the clients will find you. They're reaching for a lot of designers online. Mm -hmm. So it's easier now. So we're kind of lucky. Right. And it's free for us. <laughs> we just have to put our work just out there. Just put it out there. Yeah, it's like yeah. free <laughs> advertising. Free advertising, you guys. Yeah. So, yeah. That's good. You, if you make a plan, then it shouldn't be completely terrifying, Nathan. Yeah, hopefully. Of course. Nathan, you can do this. <laughs> Go yeah. for it. Go for it, but have a plan first. <laughs> yeah, have a plan first. So what is this video? Can we play it? Sure. Let's do it. It's actually, we are showing the letters. Oh, every letter. Yeah. With no sound, nothing. Okay, perfect. Nice. So was this just you, or were you working with a larger team to do the... The, uh, letters. Um, no, I did it all by myself. Wow. But for the retouching and stuff, I worked with other people as mm -hmm. well. Yeah, they helped me with it. Cool. Because it was uh, kind of huge with super tight deadlines as usual, you guys. As usual. As usual. Yeah, this almost looks like it could be a background, like a desktop background. Yeah. It's really okay. interesting. Nice. Cool. Yeah. Ooh, Ashan is back. What's up, Ashan? Thanks for being here. Hey, Ashan. How you doing? <laughs> All right, what's next? What's next? So I'm going to show you guys more about the personal stuff that I do other than the Let's get personal. So, for example, if you if you want to do something personal but you don't know what you're going to do, you just like work on something you're passionate about it, and something that other people will be interested about as mm -hmm. well. For example, do a poster for a TV show that it's coming out soon and share it online and since people are like like that TV show, that series, they're going to, with the hashtag or whatever, the right yeah. tags, they will find you mm -hmm. and like it, it might work. It's a great thing. I, so, I did that one time and the TV show sent me a poster and I was like, <laughs> for free? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so we see it works. Yeah, it totally does. You just have to believe in it mm -hmm. and hopefully it will work. Yeah. So you do personal projects as well. Yeah. So like um, a while ago, I was like listening to a lot of Bob Dylan music. Uh -huh. And I said, okay, I'm gonna draw Bob. I'm gonna do a lettering mm -hmm. with the Bob Dylan uh, photography. And after that, I started doing it as a weekly thing, as oh. sharing it on Instagram mm -hmm. as like with the hashtag <laughs> Artist of the Week. Cool. So it's my Artist of the Week, the uh, artist that I listen to the most during the week. Mm -hmm. So uh, I thought of an art direction for it. Like, okay, I'm going to be using black and white images. Mm -hmm. I want to be using, like, pastel colors. And the typography is going to be based on the music that they play, oh, the lyrics, yeah. and the feelings that you get mm -hmm. from, the mu from the song or the lyrics that you're listening to. Right. So, so yeah. this is how Dylan makes you feel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Dylan, he's the best. Cool. Yeah, uh, I want to see this full size. Oh, yeah. no, that's all right. So here's Bob Dylan. Did you use Illustrator to make this? Yeah, so basically I use Illustrator first. I take the Illustrator file to Photoshop, add the textures, draw this tiny stuff with the <laughs> textures, with the right brushes. Yep. And yeah, that's it. But I usually use both of them, not just Illustrator by itself, like depending like on the that. project. Right. Here's Father John Mystery. Mm, very mystical. Yeah. Nice. Of course. Do I have to say? <laughs> no. <Nope. laughs> yeah, this here? recent? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I did it actually the day that the video came out. Oh, I got perfect. super excited mm -hmm. after watching the video for like 10 times or whatever. I was yeah. like, I'm going to do this. Oh my I can't gosh. leave it like for next week. Yeah, they played it on the big screen last night. <laughs> yeah. I was like looking in like, yes. Yes. <laughs> cool. Um, twin Shadow. So oh. in this case, he actually liked it on Instagram. So he's like, yeah. You win. He saw, he saw my work. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, Cesar. Wow. So yeah, as you can see, the type and the lettering is like super different from each other. But there's something like it's keeping the project kind of uh, attached to each other yeah. because it's the same style yeah. in the photography and art direction. Right. But and even like small little details of like yeah, this over like here. You will see it. Like I'm using this tiny white line in all of them. Mm -hmm. I'm using the white drop shot, not the drop shot, the duplication mm -hmm. and the small flowers in all of them. Right. And of course the white, black and white imagery. Mm -hmm. It's like kind of nice and grainy too. It's a nice contradiction with the, the flatness of the lettering. Yeah. Very cool. And are you still working on this because you just did the yeah. Childish Gambino? Nice. Yeah. 
Leon Bridges. He's holding the little baton. I love it. <laughs> Cute. And this is Heim. This is a different one. But Sisters. I added it in this um, uh, project so I can share it with you mm -hmm. guys. Yeah. Because they liked it as well. Hey, <laughs> that's Yay, awesome. Go. And this one is a little bit different. You're right. Like yeah. the style. I just add it here so I can share it with you. Mm -hmm. But it's almost like version two. Yeah. Of, like season two of your Artist of the Week. Yeah. Nice. Yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. I love how you use Illustrator and Photoshop. That's really cool to, sh to see that you're comfortable in both programs. Yeah, I'm going to show you a project that I did it just from Illustrator. Oh, okay. And I use it as my logo. Nice. And since I'm Armenian, mm -hmm. I did this um, a monogram. Uh, from my initials A and B so this is not the Q you guys <laughs> okay <laughs> so the bottom part is an A in Armenian the upper part is B and it's, it's inspired from the circus and Victorian style wow cool so actually I did it after like a, a workshop with Martha Serda so I was like super influenced mm -hmm. she's the best <laughs> yeah and she was here yesterday right yesterday for the stream mm -hmm. yeah with Michael Wow, so you just made that all in Illustrator. Yeah. Can you talk through the process just a little bit, like how you go about doing that? Or maybe even, yeah, there's a lot of duplication. Uh, basically, since I wanted to do something related to the circus and the Victorian mm -hmm. style, I researched a lot yeah. on that. So the circles are actually coming from the circus school. Okay. And the floral stuff are coming from the Victorian, Victorian school. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, I wanted to keep it in black and white to make it more powerful and poppy. Mm -hmm. um, and basically, yeah, and as for the lines, I drew them, mm -hmm. but I usually like use the blending tool yep. just as a guide. Right. Because sometimes if you have like complicated shapes, it, it doesn't work that well with yeah. the flexibility. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you use it as a guide and then you kind of went back over yeah. it. I, I use it as a guide and draw over it one by ah. one. Sometimes it takes ages. Yes, sometimes. But I think the end product is worth it. Yeah. Yeah. So nice. Um, here's another Armenian type project Sweet. which was inspired from this one. Right. Can we go here? Yeah. So yeah, I did this uh, uh, website from my portfolio Behance. Yay, love my portfolio. If you don't know what it is, if you have a Creative Cloud subscription, you can basically transform your Behance profile into a beautiful, fully-fledged portfolio website such as Angela's. Yeah, and super it's easy, easy. Mm -hmm. it does, and super cool. Hopefully yeah. you guys like it. I think it's beautiful, <laughs> works yeah. well. Um, so yeah, Whoa. here's the series of the mm -hmm. Armenian uh, types that I did. Mm -hmm. And how this thing actually started was, you know, since I was telling you guys, you don't have to overthink about the personal project, you have to do something you like. And in the industry, we have a lot of opportunities. Mm -hmm. Like um, in October, we have something called Inktober. So you yes. have to do everything with ink. Mm -hmm. In May, we have mermaid. Mm -hmm. So you have to like do a lot of mermaids. Yeah, there's always a challenge. Yeah. So it's cool for everyone to contribute in that kind of style mm -hmm. stuff yeah. and work for it. So this one actually started from Inktober because I started doing them as... Oh, by hand. By hand. <laughs> wow. With Posca on mm -hmm. black papers. Wow, your lines are so sharp. Did you use some sort of tool, like a ruler? Yeah, yeah. of course. Of course, of course. Wow, that's beautiful. So... I didn't know the Armenian alphabet was different. Like yeah. It's totally different le letters. Yeah. And um, it's kind of complicated. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. It looks like because it. we have like two R's, two T's, two E's. Yeah. So yeah, I did them on a paper this one mm -hmm. and took it to Illustrator. And ah. with Illustrator, I added more details to it mm -hmm. and make it even better. Yeah, and the subtle little glow in the background. Did you use the blur tool for this? Yeah, and the blend tool as well. Oh, blend tool, yes. Yeah, so in this case, it's like from black to white. Mm -hmm. And many steps in between. Yeah. Wow, look at that. That's beautiful. So this is the K. Ah. Meet K. <laughs> T. 
E. That's like the circus style that you're talking about. Yeah. Cool. So in this one, I divided them. Like some of them are, I was doing it with lines, some of them with circles. Oh, okay. Which one's that? E. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> it's E. E. This is E. Uh. E. Uh. Okay. <laughs> this is an Armenian teaching yes, session. Yes. 101. <laughs> Tricked you. <laughs> Tricked you. So I wouldn't mind that. That sounds interesting. <laughs> so... Since I used the bl uh, blurry fading thing here, mm -hmm. I took it to another project because I was like getting obsessed with it. Yes, it's a good luck, good aesthetic. I, I took it to the Fade Project. Ooh. I called it the Fade Project. Get faded. Wow, look at that. Um, so yeah, every time the, um, the gradient is fading out in a different way or organic way, mm -hmm. And I used, again, as an art direction, I used four colors. Okay. So dark purple and pink and pink orange. Yeah. Dark purple, pink. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you can see it as black from here. Okay. Wow. Did you do the whole alphabet? Yeah. <gasps> yes. <laughs> yeah, Man. so it goes on. Yeah. Oh. Man, we actually had a question about that kind of from Ashan. How do you paint and draw on paper so close to each other without smudging? <laughs> so if we go back to here where you actually did it by hand, what was your technique? Just being very careful? Being super careful with mm -hmm. it, using rulers, post, white Posca, mm -hmm. and if I did something wrong, I just like, if you can see it, there's a black Sharpie yep. over there cool. <laughs> to fix it up. Right. So yeah. Yeah, you just but use the tools that you can. Keep it yeah, clean. Yeah, you have to like practice a lot to get the w perfect lines. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And with the practicing, you will get it. Like, you, you will see, of course, you will see like smudginess somewhere. Mm -hmm. but yeah. Yeah, but then you were inspired by that and took it into Illustrator, where you can't really smudge things. Things don't <laughs> yeah. really get ruined. Commenti, 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 commenti. Yes, <laughs> forever and ever and ever. Yeah. I love that. That's like the most satisfying thing. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Cool. Um, what else can I share with you guys? Yeah, we have about seven minutes left to look at more mm -hmm. projects, and then we'll be doing portfolio reviews, two of them. Oh, I can, I can show you guys this one. Sweet. So since I was talking to you about like, what we have in the industry, like to do something and share it with people mm -hmm. and collaborate with others, right. this one was kind of a... Not the competition, like uh, it, uh, it was for Secret Seven, where they do these exhibitions and ask for designers to create artworks for um, album covers. Oh, okay, album cool. covers, yeah. So, and then they choose from it and exhibit it in London. Love that. So, one of the singers were Jack Garrett, mm -hmm. and I did it um, inspired from it, and Very cool. it won. <gasps> What? Cool. Did you go to London? No. Oh, next time. Yeah, and hear how it got exhibited in it. So people won't be seeing anything related to the artist, to the song that you're doing. They just, if they like it, they will buy it and the money will go to charity. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Nice. And you can share it with people just after the exhibition ends. Oh, so that's why it's a secret. Yeah. Wow. And the others were other submissions that I did, but the mm -hmm. top one is the one who won. Gotcha. So how many submissions are you able to do? Can you well, submit as, as much? As much as you want. Oh. Yeah. And do you have to be asked to submit? Uh, some of them, some of the designers, yeah, they're mm -hmm. asked to submit, but mm -hmm. some of them, no. You just, it's open for submission to everyone wow. around the world. I want to see. I want to see the ones that didn't get picked because they're still beautiful. Yeah. Was it the same artist? No. Jack Garrett, no, the different whole time? ones. What this, is this one was Ita James. Oh, Etta James, cool. Oh, at last. Yeah, love that. And this one was for Tame Impala. Yeah. Interesting. Again, here I used Illustrator and took it for Photoshop mm -hmm. to add the textures and all the small details. Yeah. Yeah. John Legend or John Lennon? John Lennon. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Oh. Here, Lots of numbers. Yeah, 36 days of type. Mm -hmm. But here's the number version that I did. 
again, just like the face, but this time with strokes and lines, mm -hmm. since I love lines so much. <laughs> so I decided to do this. These are so atmospheric. It's yeah. amazing. What do you think the hardest part about this project was? Uh, um, at first, how I'm going to be able to make them fade into mm -hmm. the artwork and to give the 3D look from a flat platform. Right. Yeah, and here I created my own brush to have like the thickness in the middle and like tiny start and thickness. Oh, yeah. yeah. So that's you're going to see it. So I created the brush, did it on Illustrator, and then added the purple shadow that you can see in the behind. Right. Yeah. Wow. And what's your favorite way to work? Do you use a mouse or a tablet? I Track use time? Wacom tablet. Cool. But yesterday I took this workshop with Kyle Webster mm -hmm. and Mariana, mm -hmm. and I I had to use the iPad Pro. Mm -hmm. So now I'm I want to get an Stuck iPad Pro and and try more stuff on mm -hmm. it. Such a cool tool. Yeah. Wow. Uh, what else? As I look at all of your work kind of together, I definitely start to see the the things that you're inspired by and the things that you like. Yeah. Just the lines and the different widths and kind of almost a glow. Like you like to have this atmospheric glow to your work. Yeah, and I kind of like use this, not the same with the color palette, but some color palettes that they go together. Mm -hmm. Like you're going to see, like I use purple in many projects. Yeah. Um, sometimes that, that works because you will get familiar to the designer's work yeah. and you will say, oh, did Angela do that or Yes, something? that's an Angela for sure. Yeah, and uh, this thing I did like a couple of weeks ago, I think, for, Ooh, Westworld. for Westworld. Wait, so, yeah. for Westworld or just? No, no, okay. <laughs> for myself. Just because you were inspired. <laughs> yeah, I was like, Westworld is coming up, mm -hmm. so I'm going to do this logo that they have, but cool. in my style. Mm -hmm. So that's what I did. Yeah. Here I used actually the same brush that I created for the numbers. Yeah. You will see like how it starts and how it ends. Yeah, right. Yeah. It's amazing. And then what and is it? And here is just... Illustrator because I didn't have to add shadows because my strokes were super tiny in the bottom mm -hmm. and they gave the yep. fading without any yeah, isn't hard that cool? work. cool, right? <laughs> Just kind of trick the eye into thinking yeah. that it faded. And then you put it in the classic circle. Yeah. Very cool. And we just had Patrick here on stream, so that's really cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. All right, chat. How you doing over there? How are you um, doing, everyone? Yanina wants to know if you have an Instagram account. She is so good. Yes, I agree. So where yeah. should people follow you? You can find my work here. Scroll in, scroll, scroll in. in. Angela Bardakchin. Yes, we will post in chat. Thank you, Adobe Live, for Thank posting you. that. So go give Angela a follow. Uh, we're going to look at some portfolios. Cool. So before we do that, we're going to play a little intro video, take you up to space, and when you get back, we'll have some portfolios open. So see you soon. Welcome back. Welcome to space. Hope you're all comfortable up here. We have three portfolios that we're going to be reviewing. Well, Angela is going to be reviewing. And the first one is Ines Coelho from Lisbon, Portugal. Cool. Cool. And before we jump into the actual work, first of all, are you here? Let us know in chat if you are hanging out with us. And second of all, we like to look at the portfolio as a whole, like what kind of information she provides, if her email is readily available. Because that's important. Oh, she has some awards. Mm-hmm. Greatness cool, challenge. Cool. Nice and all very recent, so that's always good to see. Good job. Mm-hmm. So she has some social media links. I don't see an email, which is important to include if you want to get. Yeah, work. and maybe it's better for her to write a little bit about yourself, introducing mm -hmm. herself, uh, yeah. so we can get her more. Yeah, get definitely. to know her more. Yeah. But from her focus, it says graphic design, illustration, and branding. And you can definitely see that from her work. So we have about seven to ten minutes per portfolio. Cool. So let's jump in. What do you want to look at first? Um, let's start with this. Ooh. Fancy stuff. Yeah. So if you're here, can you tell us a bit about the project? Mm -hmm. Or let's scroll and read about it. Let's oh. see if she wrote something. I think there was some stuff at the top. I saw. Oh, oops. 
down a little bit. One more, one more. Uh, oh, it's here. Okay, it's very sorry. Small. <laughs> the challenge. Create identities for future initiatives and campaigns while at the same time being immediately recognized as UN women's brand allowing visual diversity within the parameters of the mother brand. Awesome. So that is helpful to know yeah. uh, what you're designing for. Yeah, and what I really like that out of this uh, icon, mm -hmm. she actually created all these small icons and used them in her graphic and branding campaign. Mm -hmm. And the color palette is really cool as well. Oh, here we can see process. It's always so good to show process so people can get to know how was the process. <laughs> yeah, how your brain works and how yeah. you're solving these problems. Cool. Definitely. I definitely think all of the little icons that she created do work well together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, like as we can see here, she used super minimal design but it won an award mm -hmm. but because there are some designers who like put a lot of details like a lot of images on top of each other just because they think that they need to it needs more and more but sometimes yeah. simplicity is everything and yeah. it's much more powerful than like too many stuff happening yeah. in one artwork. Right. Simplicity can be really difficult to design. Like yeah. how simple can you make it to make it still understandable? Yeah. Present. Nice. I like that you show your work in context. And what I like is like she, how she used these icons in all the posters, mm -hmm. although each and every one of them is super different from the, mm -hmm. the other one. There's still something like keep them connected to each other. And what I liked is the, the line as well, how she is trying to connect from one poster to another. Yeah. And the color palette is working so well. Right. <laughs> Very cool. Showing some more nice mock-ups and more and more in context. So it showed the present and also the future, like what the goal is. Yeah, I really liked it. Super nice. cool. Yeah. Do you have any thoughts on how she could make it even stronger of a presentation? Maybe she can actually print them instead of using mock-ups. Right. And like. Uh, take pictures of them in a really nice art direction way. Yeah. Right, you can make it even more specific for this yeah, project. Yeah, to be personalized more for you. Yeah. Because these mock-ups, like thousands of people use it. And I use it as well. Yeah. But sometimes it's better for each and every one of us to work on our project and to make it more personalized, right. even with the mock-ups yeah. and posters. Although she did do a good job of using the mock-ups well. They, yeah. They're mocked up in a very professional It way. works well with the mood that she's trying to mm -hmm. show as well. Yeah. Nice job. All right, let's look at another. What else do you want to look at? Yeah, I, I saw this one as well. And this is what I was trying to talk to you about a couple of minutes ago, like how now we know like Ines worked on this project because she's kind of using the same color palette, yeah. the same shapes. Yep. Shape character is definitely yeah. there. Very simple. Yeah. And some shape exploration. Patterns. Mm -hmm. Very neutral, but still fun color yeah. palette. Again, so minimal, yet so powerful. Yeah. And eye catchy. Right. Whoa! <laughs> Very powerful. <laughs> that's for you, Ines. Yes, that's for you. We're playing the soundtrack just for you. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I've seen that mock-up before. Yeah. But it's nice to see her even adding this wayfinding over on the side. Yeah. That's just customizing a mock-up even further. Yep. Nice. Showing it on mobile. Always good. Super cool, Ines. I would just like uh, fix the spacing between the two and take because there's oh. a lot of space in between yeah. them. Right. And that might be an intentional design choice, but for some reason maybe it's yeah. a little distracting. Yeah. Oh, I want to have that notebook. <laughs> Where is it, Ines? Can we please have it? Send it! <laughs> 
Yeah, really cool project. Mm -hmm. But I want to know if it's really got done or yeah, <laughs> it's real. <laughs> if yes, just share real pictures that they did. Heck yeah. And it might be just a perspective project. Yeah. She did the whole suite, like yeah. the wayfinding, everything. Super cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good job. So it's an unpublished project. Gotcha. Yeah. So what do you think that um, Ines could work on for that? I have a couple of thoughts, but I'd like to hear yours. Mm, I liked it overall because, mm -hmm. uh, again, from super simple logo, she created these icons. But what I want to know more is like why she created the, mm -hmm. these icons and not right. other ones like yeah. she did in the award-winning project. Right, like what was the inspiration yeah. for this? Definitely. Like why she didn't use the circles and the triangles mm -hmm. here, exactly in this one, mm -hmm. and she used it in somewhere else. Right. So, I maybe you should add like more that kind of details yeah. to let people understand mm -hmm. what's behind your pattern. What yeah. were you thinking when you were doing it? Right. Definitely. And I really love all of the the word marks you made and all of the logos and sub logos. But for some reason, this little lockup, I'm just. I have a hard time with and I, maybe it's the colors like it's so dark down here and so light up here mm. I'm not sure but that could just be personal <laughs> yeah but you know what is it maybe because here in the patterns she's just like putting it, them in a random way in a grid but still like kind of in a random way right but here everything's like super mm -hmm. in a square maybe that's why we're yeah, kind of be. having a thought about mm -hmm. it but overall super strong all right, let's look at one more. Mm. More award-winning stuff. <laughs> it's really nice that you have the cover image that has the little award on it. That's really helpful. Yeah. Sometimes these nice. small thumbnails mm -hmm. uh, are even much more important than your project because these small windows will mm -hmm. actually let people to go through your project and check right. it out. If they click it or don't click it, it's for that thumbnail. Yeah, it all mm -hmm. starts from that super tiny box. Mm -hmm. So... I like this already. Yeah. For a restaurant. And it looks like it's the same team that worked on the first project we looked at. Yeah, because at. she worked with Elsa. Elsa. Nice. Cool. Nice, showing the inspiration. Love that. Oh, it's animated. Yeah. Cool. I like that. It's like a clock. Yeah. Seconds. Maybe this is the pointer of the watch, and mm -hmm. that's the actual watch. Right. And I think in the inspiration, at least, it showed that this was inspired by some sort of tall building, like a tower. Yeah, it could that's be. That's cool. Couple different options that might go like on the side of a, a book spine or a menu. Ooh, texture, I love it. <laughs> cool. Maybe I think this is the sauce that they add next to the dish. Mm -hmm. Right, Cool. Bit of garnish. So these are definitely inspired from the dishes mm -hmm. of the restaurant that she's working for. Right. It's really cool. And spacey. Mm -hmm. Very, <laughs> yeah, very much so goes well with the music that's playing right now. That's for you. <laughs> yes, that is for you also. <laughs> oh, see, th this was the mm -hmm. one that I was talking about. Yep, totally. Let me go into some collateral. Nice, and this little arc here is like the clock, the seconds yeah. ticking away. It's really cool. Yeah, nice job. I hope this is real, like this actually If was not, branded. someone should get it. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody pay these women. <laughs> nice, some mini design. Very simple. Although the graphics are pretty like atmospheric, or not atmospheric, but textural and kind of almost playful, the, the text treatment is very simple. Yeah. It's a nice combination. Cool. What do you think the strongest part of this is? What really speaks to you? To keep it simple, just like white page mm -hmm. with an image that 
talks about everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And she added this small, tiny line mm -hmm. to make the connection between the branding and this layout. Yeah. Right. Really strong. Yeah, she just focused on one picture because when she was like, if she puts a lot of pictures, you will get like kind of lost. Like, which one mm -hmm. is she talking about in this paragraph, right? Oh, here she didn't add any um, lines or Yeah, kind of lets it speak for itself. Very cool. Great job, my friend. Thank you so much for submitting your portfolio. Yeah, thank you so much. Really, really strong. Your projects are well laid out. Keep up the good work. Keep it up, Ines. Definitely. All right, let's move on to our next portfolio. This is by Miguel. Let's see. Graphic designer. Kobu Creative Dig Digital Agency in Portugal as well. Okay. Huge passion for brand identity, logo design, and all sorts of lettering. Good to know. And a link to your website. Cool. Perfect. So what do you want to look at first? Hmm. There is a lot of lettering. That's nice to see. Yeah. This one? Ooh, tattoos. Is he with us in the chat? Yeah, Miguel, are you here? This also looks like it's multiple owners, so that's yeah. cool. With Radmir. Yeah. Miguel, hello, you here? Where I haven't seen you, his name, Miguel? but if you are here, say hello so we can talk to you about your projects. Where the two artists created in a unique and professional way, having two studios. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. I like that you just put the information right at the top. It's very clear and concise. Yeah. Nice. And since it's a tattoo place, he kept it like dark yeah. and focused on the, uh, mm -hmm. the logo that he did right. with the gold color. Mm -hmm. It's really cool because this is like a, one of those classic mock-up pieces, but you included little tattoo specific things like the tools. Yeah. It's really nice. He personalized it. Mm -hmm. Very nice. If I went into this tattoo parlor, I'd be like, this is serious <laughs> stuff. <laughs> this is too fancy for me. <laughs> yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Portfolio. Fancy portfolio mm -hmm. with the leather nice oh little. he did this thing as well right so he's using it either like the one on top uh -huh. or the or little just crest close okay. yeah nice it's always good to have more than one option you don't want to just slap the same logo over and over again on things yeah oh oh and even the gloves yes this is what we're talking about with like a, <laughs> a customized mock-up yeah so cool Ooh. more customized yeah stuff. Some self-care stuff after you get your tattoo. Got to take care of it. More hands. Mm-hmm. Even the kind of shiny black tattoo gun. <laughs> cool. What are your thoughts so far? What are the strong things? What do you think they could work on? I really, really liked that he kept it simple. Mm -hmm. Because maybe it, because I like simple stuff. Yeah. Ooh, Miguel's here. What's up, Miguel? Where are you, Great Miguel? work. Great work. Yeah. Um, oh, so simple. So simple, yet so powerful because he used black mm -hmm. and gold. Yes. And I really liked, as I said, the logo and the icon that he used. So he created an icon to use it some places mm -hmm. to not to use the whole logo. Right. So what I would just recommend him is like to keep it like less... Um, simulations and mock-ups uh, because yeah. we're seeing uh, too much of the same thing like the soap yeah, we've already seen a couple of times yeah yeah agreed that's that's the only comment that I can mm -hmm. give you yeah and it's hard because when you have such great work you're like I'm gonna show up in this angle yeah. this angle and tell <laughs> this story but yeah it's it's very simple and easy to understand mm -hmm. yeah is it gold or bronze Walter I'm not sure let's ask Miguel Miguel, Miguel. Is it gold bronze copper Rose gold, yeah. I thought it kind of looked a little rosy as yeah. well. Looks like this is featured in graphic kind of design. Mm -hmm. But really, really nice job. All oh, right. I see. Thanks for the tip. Yeah, you're welcome, Miguel. No prob. All right, let's look at maybe one more. Which one? Take shall your we? pick. 
Oh, skincare. Should Ooh, we go for it? I'm down for skin. As girls, skincare. we're going to the skincare. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and it got featured as well. Oh, nice. And graphic design and illustrator. Super cool. Yeah, nice job, Miguel. Again, super minimal. Mm -hmm. This time with white and blue. Looks expensive. Expensive. <laughs> and then it gives us some information. Oh, nice. he worked on the naming, packaging, and branding of the project. Very nice. So he did it from A to Z. <laughs> he didn't make Good the skincare. Thank you for taking care of us, Miguel. Yes. <laughs> mm. Cool. So it looks like there's a couple different options. We got moisturizer, regeneration, nourishing care. Oh, that's the logo. Mm -hmm. uh, Miguel, can you tell us more about the small like, the icon yeah. on top of the logo? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> but it's cool. It, it just mimics something kind of like yeah. liquidy and nourishing. Yeah, maybe he w he's trying to present the, um, the liquid, the yeah. cream that it's, when it's come out is like... Yeah, or it could even be like aromatherapy. Like yeah, maybe. Steam. I want to know. I'm so curious right mm -hmm. now. Simulate, simulate a snake. snake? <laughs> oh, okay. Did we miss something in the brief? Maybe, maybe there's something about a snake. Maybe we missed a detail. Mm -hmm. here. Oh, okay. And symbol was inspired by the serpent around the staff of uh, Sulpius. I know what that is. I just don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> um, okay, so like the medical symbol with the the snake that oh, goes around. Oh, okay, it. okay. Gotcha. Maybe because it's a medical uh, mm -hmm. product. Yeah, it's supposed to be very good for you, skincare. Cool, but also it just is very reminiscent of fluid motion and yeah. something organic. Nourishing care, moisturizer. Yeah, showing just a little symbol, nice. It's a nice, you're just showing the type and then you're showing the product and then the type and the product. Yeah. Nice. It might be a similar story where it's a lot of showing the product yeah, again. over and over again, which is, it's awesome product, but maybe you don't need as much. Exactly. But it's obviously very successful because it's been featured yes. twice. <laughs> nice job, Miguel. Ooh, I love that. Yeah. Little green pop in there. Cool, Miguel. Thank you so much for submitting your work. Keep up the amazing work. Yeah. Really, really nice. All right, let's look at one more portfolio. Go and follow Miguel, you guys. Yeah, go and follow Miguel and Ines and now and Yanina or Yanina. I know you're in chat because we answered one of your questions. Yeah. So what's up? Glad to be looking at your... Um, portfolio we've got your handle right here that's good artist graphic designer getting into some illustration and lettering design curious about animation all right cool this is a little different than the yeah, other two. from argentina mm -hmm. yes from argentina super cool cool uh, she describes herself as an artist graphic designer getting into illustration and lettering design mm -hmm. curious about animation wow so cool Okay, yeah, there's so a lot of music right stuff here. Yeah, music inspired. Is there a project that you want us to? Yeah, check Let, it do you out. Want feedback on? Yeah, let us know, Yanina. Yeah, which one do you want us to check? Cool. We have a we have only a couple minutes. Yeah. So um, maybe we can start looking at one quickly before she tells us. I think us this which one. one. Okay. I think this cool. one. Cool. Illustration artwork for Madonna. Speeds self-initiated project <laughs> cool <laughs> she used the illustrator for sure mm -hmm. and what I like here that she did the gif mm -hmm. with the images to show us like all of the posters right all inspired from the lyrics from mm -hmm. Madonna maybe yeah Maya Nina oh there's even more animation love it oh now we can see that you <laughs> that you love animation Cute. I love how this is laid out. It's really uh, shows us all the work. It shows us little different pieces of animation. Yeah, with kind of daring colors, just mm -hmm. like Madonna. Yes, this is very Madonna. Yeah, I would agree. Cool. Another iteration. That's not the lips. It's more of like an illustration of Madonna. Yeah, and on the top she was using maybe Illustrator, and here we're seeing more brush. Mm -hmm. Yeah brush work so I think she did it on Photoshop right and she's showing the simulation and I really like the color combination that she did in the simulation with yes. the dark blue mm -hmm. to make the 
poster pop out. Yeah, the whole thing is super rich. Yeah. Nice. Um, let's see, did she let us know? She said any, just pick. Cool. So we can look at whatever projects we want. And here she did it like tie mm -hmm. and stuff. With the iconic lips, the beauty <laughs> mark. This is a big project. Yeah, and she used different styles and art directions in the same mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lots of exploration. <laughs> Very simple. This is my favorite. <laughs> Yeah, why is that? Why are you so attracted to it? Because since it's like white with nothing on it, just lips and the, uh, what do you call it? Beauty mark. Beauty mark. Mm -hmm. I, I can notice that it's Madonna, even if I don't know that project is mm -hmm. about Madonna. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Cool. I really so like you, it. You like the simplification and just putting the most important parts. Yeah. And the color palette is like I said earlier. Mm -hmm. Oh, Yanina says I always start on paper. Oh, super cool. Maybe that's how she started the, the, the pink Madonna book, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, maybe, yeah. Oh, I'd love to see this multimedia, multi-platform. You're using Illustrator and Photoshop and paper. Very cool. Good job. Yeah, so what would be something that you think would be the most important thing to work on in mm. the future? Maybe, I mean, here... I would work more on the retouching of the picture. Okay. Uh, I don't know if she meant it to be like this, but I would work more on the retouching of the picture, maybe to add more shadows and stuff to it, make okay. it more powerful and clear. Okay. And, and since she was saying she likes lettering more, mm -hmm. I would say, like, if, she, if you really like it, just practice more and more every day and you will get better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really like there's this innate kind of playfulness and yeah. passion in your lettering. So keep exploring that for sure. It does seem, though, that it's it's kind of not obvious, but I can tell that you did this and then maybe image traced it in Illustrator. Um, so maybe you just do it in Photoshop so you don't even have to use image trace. Yeah. Oh, she's saying check the Rebel Heart project. Okay. Where's the rebel heart? Here we oh, again, Madonna. Mm -hmm. Ooh, she's Love a big Madonna. fan of Madonna. This is nice lettering. I, I prefer this to the other. Rebel heart tour. All right. Big fan of Madonna. Um, with my art, art rigs as one of my best achievements, two of my designs were selected by Madonna what? and her team to be displayed during the backdrop of one of the songs and the concerts around the world. Yeah, this is what I was trying to say earlier. Like, just put your work out there, mm -hmm. and if you really believe in it, something will happen in her yeah. case Madonna picked two of her projects yeah. and it's she obviously awesome. loves Madonna so this yeah. is great awesome Yanina thank you so much for submitting your portfolio here it is with what? Madonna wow Yanina so this is cool. awesome yeah if you have a dream just go for it that's what you're saying very nice so great job Super Yanina awesome. Thank you for sharing. Keep up your hand lettering. It's really, really strong. And Miguel and Inez, thank you so much for submitting. Um, we're going to go back to Angela's portfolio. And maybe you can let us know, again, the best way to find you on the Internet because we're about to end in about a minute. I'm oh, sure people okay. want to follow you. <laughs> yeah, follow me. Show me some love as well. Mm -hmm. uh, you can find me on Instagram, mm -hmm. and Angela Bardakjian. Mm -hmm. I know it's super hard. It's but once you know my, it, you'll know it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, here's my website. Mm -hmm. My portfolio, perfect. My portfolio from Behance. And uh, then Behance. And then Behance. You can, you can actually find my um, website from my Behance because it's written up. Yeah, it's linked. Perfect. So thank you, Angela, for joining us. Thank you so much. Yay, super easy. And we'll be back in just a couple minutes with more artists and designers. So stick around. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs>